adding immunotherapy to chemotherapy increases the chance of response. So you, particularly in those patients who are symptomatic from their disease, you want their tumors to decrease in size so their symptoms are improved. A lot of these studies have looked at patient reported outcomes as well, showing improvement in um, how patients do, particularly from their symptoms, um, as well as um, really not a huge increase in toxicity when adding immunotherapy compared to other drugs, adding uh, other drugs like anti-VEGF, you know, bevacizumab plus chemotherapy that increases toxicity. So adding immunotherapy to chemotherapy does not seem to increase to toxicity significantly, but we do see the added uh, immunotherapy toxicities. We're looking at survivorship, so those patients who are doing well with immunotherapy for you know, uh, months to years do tend to do well for a long period of time. We have to think about survivorship and issues that these patients are, are facing, either from a toxicity standpoint or even just from the disease itself. You know, while you do, for some patients, cause significant decrease in size of their tumor, a, a lot of patients, their disease is stable um, as well.